The WhatsApp eSign feature on Zoop Sign simplifies document signing by using WhatsApp to send and sign documents quickly. It's efficient and convenient, speeding up the process for businesses. This approach makes signing as easy as sending messages, helping agreements and contracts move forward faster. Let's get started. First, you'll need to sign up on Zoop Sign. Follow the simple sign up process and once completed, you will be taken to the Zoop Sign dashboard. From the home screen of your dashboard, locate the eSign card. This will take you to the eSign dashboard. From here, click on the send to send for eSign button. This here, you will select the digital eSign option as your preferred method of digital signature. This allows you to do both email and WhatsApp e-signatures. Now, upload the document you wish to get signed. This can be any agreement, contract, form or any other document that requires a signature. You can choose files from your desktop, Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive. For now, let's upload a document from the desktop. Add the signers who need to sign the document. Add their name. Then select the sign type between email e-sign or WhatsApp e-sign. For this tutorial, let's continue with WhatsApp e-sign. Add the add in the WhatsApp phone number of the signer. Now decide whether to enable authenticate signer. When enabled, signers are required to verify their WhatsApp or email ID via OTP before verification. In the Zoop Signs eSign journey, you will see the signature boxes of all the signers placed on all the pages of the documents. This signature box indicates the location where the signer's signature will be visible on the document. You can drag and drop the signature box position to wherever you want the signers to sign. Alternatively, you may also drag and drop additional signature boxes to the document pages. You may also delete the sign box if not needed on any page of your document. If you want the document to be signed in a specific order, turn on sequential signing. Now, just drag and rearrange the signers in the order you want the document to be signed. This ensures that the signatures are collected in the order you have set. Zoop Sign allows you to set a custom expiry date for your documents. Once the document is expired, the receiver will no longer be able to view the document. This ensures that the document is valid for signing or tracking only till the expiry date have set. However, you can always extend the expiry date later. Once all the settings are configured to your liking, you can now send the document for signing. The link to the document is now sent to the signers via email or WhatsApp, depending on your earlier choice. And that's it. You have successfully sent your document for e-signing via Zoop Sign.